My next guest is going to be back in action. Bellator 288. It's right around the corner, November 18th. It's Roman Feraldo joining me here on the program. Roman, how are you, man? I'm doing great, my man. How are you? Doing awesome. I'm not going to my father's 50th birthday right now. Uh, that's a big one, man. How's uh, how's all that going ahead of the, the fight? You get to celebrate this you know, big milestone for your pops. Yeah, man. It's awesome. It, it, it's, uh, you know, obviously 50 is a big number in the, in the life, you know. Um, seeing his son succeed is even bigger. So it's, it's, uh, it, you know, there's uh, multiple things to celebrate. And uh, I'm just happy that I get to be a part of it. That's all, you know. So we've got plenty, plenty, plenty good things going on right now in life. I'd say so. Uh, lots to celebrate about you, man. Undefeated record. A really good performance in your last fight. Um, nice turnaround, too. I mean, you fought in July. You're fighting here in November. Was this the ideal amount of time off? Because you got a full camp by the looks of it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, you know, had, had to go, had to take a, lo- a couple weeks off. You know, uh, dude Lewis had a really hard head. Ended up hurting my hand on his face. But, um, you know, it ended up working out. Took a couple weeks, got my hand right, and uh, jumped right back into camp. Didn't, you know, honestly, didn't miss a beat. So um, it's, it was uh, all in all, everything is uh, w- uh, has been going according to plan. Three to four fights a year is, is, is you know, usually what I try to keep it at. And, um, you know, obviously with COVID, that kind of messed things up a little bit. But this has been a real successful year this year. and Just going to finish off strong with another W. Yeah, and you referenced that last fight. I mean, you don't get paid by the hour. Clearly a nice performance in that one. How much are you riding yeah. off that win heading into the fight? Uh, you know, I, I feel like it's it's there's definitely a momentum booster. Uh, at, with every fight, you know, the momentum grows, and you see it. You know, at, uh, obviously getting the name out there. You know, he's one knockout. Yeah, sure, he can knock people out. Two knockouts. Oh, big thing. But you know, when I we consistently, you know, you consistently show in the world that hey, man, this guy hits you, he could put you to sleep. People start to wake up and recognize. So it's it's uh, it's definitely a momentum booster, and uh, and just just build it on it. Keep going and keep riding the wave. And quick side note on, on your last fight. So I was, I was at your last fight. I actually live in uh, Vancouver, Canada, went up and covered the event and uh, they were bringing fighters back after, you know, after their wins and everything. And I'm like, uh, maybe I got time to do a quick interview outside. AJ McKee was there, did like a quick thing with them. When you were getting your post-fight scrum, I couldn't get back in the room because of course, if you remember the tables, they were right by the door. So I was kind of outside. Yeah. So we didn't get to do an interview. So I'm really happy we got to do one here today. But uh, it looked like, uh, like I said, it looked like you had a good time on that card because Tacoma's a beautiful part of uh, part of Washington State, right? Yeah, man. No, I had a great time there. Um, you know, uh, after we got to celebrate a little bit, you know, go you know, travel around, see the see the country a little bit. And um, I've, obviously, I've never been up there, man. I'm a Florida boy at heart. So uh, being able to great part about this job is you get to travel travel the country travel the world see the world and uh it's gonna be you know just add another one to the uh add another one to the list going to chicago gonna put on you know they have a great great uh how do i say uh uh, uh fans they have great fans and great you know their, their support out there there's some diehard fans chicago chicago people are some diehard fans so be able to go out there add some more people to the list you know get some people on the train and uh yeah man super excited man this is uh it's been a phenomenal year and to be able to cap it off with this with this next fight you know obviously uh now finally making the main event and uh top 10 everything about it, it's just it's all coming to uh it's coming to a, a you know it's bottleneck and it's coming to a real it's going to be a great celebration it's going to be a great night and another tough opponent here 10 and 2 record uh, what do you know about him how do you feel like you match up against him here i think it's great i think i think he's he's uh he he is like uh perfect for my style of fighting honestly 10 and 2 guy he moves forward he comes to throw he comes to bang a lot of his a lot of his wins are knockouts so he's gonna come and fight he's a dog um you know as a fighter the reason why i got into this business was for that you know i got into this business to get into fights i want i really want to test myself and um you know i think this guy he's going to be a good test i'm going to be able to show some real skills against him and uh, i don't think it's going to be i don't think it's going to be a minute knockout i i do think i'll finish the fight but I think you know it'll 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 go until you know maybe the second or third round, and I'll be able to show some skills. I'll be able to touch this guy up, really break him down, break his will, and um, really get to show some skills off. Who have been some of the main training partners for this camp that are helping you get ready for this fight? Oh, uh, you know, uh, luckily, you know, being at ATT, I, um, I have a lot of I have a lot of guys that I get to work with. Um, predominantly, uh, my my main guys, uh, Johnny Evelyn, um, Dalton Rasta. Uh, Sleek Sheik, Sabat, um, I do the Polish Power, uh, Jocko, I, I can never pronounce his last name, so forgive me, my dog. Yeah. But, um, you know, uh, 
yeah, I got a, I got a laundry list of guys. You know, we, we it, the great part about being a part of a gym like that is the talent pool that's there. You know, on any given day, you can <laughs> you're training with a Sambo world uh, world champion, you know, master of sport, judo world champion, gold medalist, you know, black belt world champion, D1 wrestler. So it's been great for my just overall building and um, yeah. But I say I say my main guys Dalton, uh, Johnny, Sabat, and Jocko. Those are my main dudes. Well, what's that like to be part of this sort of new wave of, of guys at ATT, especially, you know, you're, you're, you know, in your weight class and at middleweight as well. Like, uh, you know, you, you know, your typical household names at ATT, your Poirier's, your Mosfidals, but you mentioned Johnny Eblen, the Bellator champ, Dalton's undefeated. I mean, there's so much talent at that gym and there's sort of been a, a bit of a transition there. What's it like to be a part of that? Um, it's awesome, man. You, like you said, riding the wave, bro. Honestly, that's what I'm doing. I'm just riding the wave. I'm, I'm, I'm taking it all in. I'm soaking all the information in that I can. Um, and, you know, just, you know, be humble, humble through the whole thing, man. It, it's pretty surreal when you get to walk into a gym, you know, uh, I'm constantly cracking jokes with these guys. And it's like, I walk in, and I'm like, Hey, can I get a picture with you guys? Like, like <laughs> I'm a real big fan. And like, they think I'm kidding, but in all sincerity, like I am, you know, I get, I get to share the mats with dudes, with legends on a consistent basis who I grew up watching. And, um, you know, like I said, it's surreal. It's, 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 uh, it's motivating. And uh, it's also humbling at the same time, you know, and uh, I'm just uh, I'm, I'm very fortunate and uh, um, not taking anything for granted, man, taking it all in and and really like living living the dream right now. Do you cut much to get to 170? How's, how's the weight cut going? Nah, man, my, I, 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 I'm again fortunate in that matter. I'm a frame wise. I'm a big 70, but uh, I don't cut much. I walk around, you know, 82, 83. Um, so I cut from right there. I, I, I don't allow my weight to get out of hand. Um, I always pretty much stay right on like fight weight. Like, dude, I, I, we were training yesterday. I was like, I was ready to go. I could I could have cut yesterday and fought. I can cut today and fight. I can damn near any day, any day of the week. I, I, I can, I can go and cut some weight and be ready to fight the next, by the next day. So I like staying less, like staying around there. Who's making the trip with you? Who will be in uh, your corner for this fight? I got uh same corners, the same corners always, man. I got my man, Mike Brown, uh, Paulina Hernandez, my striking coach and my, my cousin Juan Carlos. He's, uh, you know, that's, 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 that's my squad, man. I got, I feel like I got a, the best team in the world back me. With those three guys, I feel like I can take anybody on. You mentioned a finish. You mentioned not in the first round, maybe second or third. How, how do you see yeah. the fight playing out? Uh, you know, I, I definitely want, I, I definitely want the fight to build, man. I, uh, uh, not, not trying to be uh, too greedy or nothing, but you know, first round finishes, they're all great and all, but I came to this business to get into fights. So I want to get into a fight. So, and I think this guy has the ability to push me a little bit. So I think, you know, I think we'll get out of the first round, but um, I see myself, I see myself running with him a little bit in the first round, touching him, you know, making him really work hard. Um, you know, he, he's, he's a tough guy. I'm not putting anything past him. I think he's going to, I think this is a big fight for him. I think he's going to come out and fight for his life. And, um, you know, but I, I see myself putting him out either in the, uh, you know, mid to end of the second round or uh, really, really putting a, a stamp on him in the third round, really doing doing a number on him in the third round. And I mentioned the record there again, fighting a 10 and 2 opponent always looks good on the resume. Um, but, you know, maybe not the household name you'd want to fight. Do you feel like a finish here, you know, you keep racking up these wins, that's going to get you that pretty soon, sooner rather than later, so to speak, because there are some really uh, tough guys in, in the weight class, but maybe not the, the name of, you know, some of the other names in, in that weight class. Yeah, you know, I mean, uh, the, in, in the fight world, the guys, the guys who, who really, who, who like it matters to, you know, when, when I go in the, when I go in and I finish this guy, people will recognize him. The people who, who actually really matter in my eyes, they'll know. The household names, they're going to come. If I continue to do what I do, they're, they're going to come, you know, that's, that's, that's inevitable. So I just need to make sure and go do my job at the best I can, show up, train, train my hardest, and then uh, show up and perform. So, you know, I'll go out here. I'll get my W, and then when those names start to come, I'll be more than prepared to take them on. How often do you go to the beach in Florida? Because if I lived there, I'd be going there every single day. <laughs> you know, you you think you think I'd be going there every day, yeah, but you find it now. You know, now being a family man, it's uh, it, it gets a little more uh, time consuming. You know, I go <laughs> wake up, go to work, come home, take care of the kids, take care of my lady. We, you know, we have a we're fortunate enough we have a a baby boy on the way. Uh, oh, congrats. But, uh, Thank you, thank you. But you know, on a day to day basis, you know, may, if we can get there once a week, it, we're we're happy. <laughs> That's awesome. How so? How many kids will that be uh, with with the new addition? 
yeah, this will be the second one. And, and I, I think we're going to hold off for a little bit. <laughs> yeah. No, listen, I can speak from experience. I have a one-year-old and a five-year-old and it takes it up another level. So I completely agree with that. But uh, when's the due date? I mean, that's got to be on your mind as well. Uh, you know, heading into this fight, just knowing, you know, what's, what's going to be coming in the next little bit. Yeah, man. So we have, uh, you know, our, our baby boy, he's, he's going to be born in, uh, uh, right around uh, December 23rd, right before Christmas. Um, you know, obviously, yeah, we're definitely thinking about that. Uh, you know, just getting prepared for that. Uh, and, uh, it just increases everything, man. You know, being a, being a, not just fighting for myself anymore, man. I got, I got people who depend on me and who rely on me. And, you know, you, you think it's one thing to go in there and fight for yourself, but it's a whole other type of animal when, when you have people who, who rely on you and, and, uh, you, you think you, I thought I was good. I thought, I thought I, you know, I thought that I was an animal and now it's, it's, a, I'm a whole other type of beast, man. You know, you gotta, you gotta kill me. You got to kill me to get me out of there. You got to, you got to really take it from me. So my family's, my family's everything to me. And, uh, you know, as far as my, my, my reasons, my why's, they've only increased. Good, so. man. That's great. What are some of your other hobbies outside of fighting? I don't know if you watch any other sports or your Netflix guy or video game guy. I know yeah. we mentioned the family stuff. Obviously that takes up so yeah. much time, but if you're like me and you get that hour before bed or something, are you watching any Netflix or anything? No, um, dude, I mean, I'm a I'm a movie fanatic to be honest with you. Bro. Okay. I'm at the point I'm at the point now where I can't even watch anything because I've already watched everything multiple times. Um, big guy Richie fan when it comes to like directors and stuff. Love it. Uh, you know, obviously Quentin Tarantino, my dude Scorsese, uh, Scorsese. But um, you know, I, I, when it comes to films and stuff, I love that. But as far as like my hobbies lately, uh, honestly, I've been on a golf tip, man. I mean, I got. Oh, me speaking my language here, I think it's a dad uh, thing. Honestly, I've been I, into I, golf I, big time since the pandemic. So. Dude, I think so too, man. <laughs> I've yeah. been crushing it, dude. I, you know, I just got mis- I got myself a new set of irons, and uh, I'm looking forward to you know getting after it, man. It's uh, it's been good. I got a couple buddies of mine, lifelong friends I've known since diapers. We get after it uh, at least once a week, and um, yeah, man, it's been it's been good. I'm trying to get trying to get those numbers down to low 80s right now. I'm I'm sitting high 80s, you know. Bad day, I might might hit 90, 91, but you know, I'm, it's creeping. It's creeping slowly but surely. It's getting down there. Who's the best golfer at ATT? I don't know if you golf with any of the guys oh, at the gym. Me, me by far. Yeah. By far. Okay. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. I don't, I don't think anybody can stand with me. I'm also like, but you know, without two my own horn, I think I'm a I'm a real renaissance man when it comes to sports in general. I, I'm a I'm a true athlete, bro. You get me on any a basketball court, a baseball diamond, a football, you know, uh, uh, rugby, hockey, ice roller, whatever, on a surfboard, wakeboard, I can do it all, man. I'm I'm pretty. I'm I'm pretty lethal when it comes to uh, just sports in general. Who else plays golf at the gym? I know it's not for everyone. Do you get out with any of the guys, or is it mainly just uh, your other friends? Cody, Cody Law, Cody Law. No way. Got, okay, got, cool. Yeah, I just got him into it, man. He was he he was he was at the uh, what, what what's that? What's the uh, uh, the golf the the thing where you hit the ball? The, the damn. It's like a practice thing. The simulator. No, not the sim. Not the sim. The uh, top golf. Top golf. I got Top golf. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, Top yeah. Golf. There's a video. I'm sorry. There's a video of uh, Cody at Top Golf. Like, bro, you gotta come out with me, man. I gotta get you some lessons, dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I love it. Well, it's great. And sorry, you just you piqued my interest. I'm Canadian. I have to ask this. You mentioned sure. hockey. Are you? Do you watch any hockey at all? Uh, I love hockey, man. I, 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 ironically, it was my first sport. Okay. See, yeah. this is crazy, and, man. All the other coincidences. Yeah. This is awesome. Yeah, dude, Who's your I, team? I, Who I, are you? Are you a Tampa Bay Lightning I, or Panthers? I'm a, or? Ironically, ironically, I'm a Blackhawks fan, dude. We, okay. We had, we bro, we had planned on going on Sunday, so we have we're we're going to go to a game on Sunday, man. It's it's uh, it's, it's fortunate how it works out. So yeah, man, I, I've been I've been a lifelong hockey hockey fan. Um, first sport, and I think, I don't know, man. I think I think that was probably one of the reasons why I liked it so much was because of the fighting, man. The uh, Warriors, yeah, a lot of physicality you know? in it as well. Yeah, a lot of physicality. See, I, I'm surprised we got through this interview, man. I'm a Vancouver Canucks fan. There's a lot of bad blood there over over the years, so it all worked out. Oh. But Brent Seabrook, <laughs> Brent Seabrook is from my hometown, so it's kind of hard to hate him, right? Because he's he's from my hometown, so it's yeah, uh, it's yeah. pretty cool. So that's awesome, man. Uh, next time we got to talk more hockey, but in the meantime, man, I know you got some sponsors, some social media you got to plug. We're yeah. looking forward to it. It's Bellator 288. I'll give yeah. you the last word. Yeah, man. Uh, just uh, shout out to all my uh, all the support from back home. Uh, you know, Casita Kings, uh, Fish Key West, Shrimp Primp. Um, you know, obviously my, my management company, First Round Management. Um, my dude Josh Goldberg with Dice. Um, who who am I missing? Um, uh, Doctor Barack with uh, Chiropractic Carpe, uh, Carpe Diem Chiropractics. Um, oh, my dude Gary Finkelstein with uh, Think Like a G. 
I mean, I, you know, I'm very fortunate to have the people who, who support me and, uh, you know, really make, uh, have the, uh, you know, support the dream. Um, you know, uh, but yeah, those, those, those are my sponsors, man. Those are all my peeps. Uh, obviously Conk Republic, big shout out to, big shout out to the home. Um, shout out to my boy blue. Where's he at? Blue. <laughs> blue. He, he's looking for some food. Uh, yeah. shout out to the fan, man. And, you know, just ready to go put on a show.